So we will start with a class uh, called uh, non-void. And what is in the class? And how to create an object? Okay. One, one, one simple example. Uh, we'll go with the example first. How we can create the non-void uh, on void? We will see that. Example: public add the braces. I'm giving as integer. The variable name is bit a. And it is, uh, is a data type. And again, one more integer b open braces and close braces. In between these, a statement uh, I'm giving as a return statement, a return statement a plus b same call. When we add a plus b, so the result will be in a which data type? Suppose I am giving as a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 and the result will be in a numeric value. So it will be like 30, right? So the return data type will be integer integer in the same way if I am taking a string now if I am taking a string now public uh, public like uh, I am giving the name as a, a name of String as uh, uh, string as a comma string b close braces. In between, I am returning that the return a plus b. Suppose if I if I give the values of a string A and string B for A equal to, I am giving as Raj with, with, with invited quotations and uh, B equal to Kumar invited quotations. So, so the result will be as Raj Kumar, right? Raj Kumar. So the return type here is string. Okay. So you got the example of how to how this will be executed in a non-wide method. Okay. So now we will go with the class. So what is a class? And what is the use of this class? Class. It is a combination of combination of variables and methods, functions or functions or actions. Logical, logical component and it is a user defined data type. Okay. So, so now if you come with the example how we can define the class in a general way I'm taking as a flower flower if you assume this flower as a class as a class 
and rows will be rows will be object rows will be as object so in the same way if we take as a vehicle a vehicle as a class comma and a maruti car a maruti car will be as an object the variation between these two if you understand you can understand the whole picture of class and objects okay now i will go how to how to code this class first what is the syntax of the class we go access specifier access specifier in, in salesforce we have with sharing and without sharing with or without sharing next class name class name open braces and close braces in the between variables method and with semicolons okay and this is a syntax of the class syntax of the class by default in salesforce by default in salesforce in sftc without sharing without sharing is applicable by default sftc takes without sharing okay now we will see the class example now i have explained you about the uh, syntax here now we will see the class example example for the class now i am taking as class student open braces and close braces in between i am taking the variables string name equal to in the quotations raj semicolon integer number 1004 understand this point for, for integers no need to give the quotations for, only for the string we need to give quotations okay for this semicolon after that i want to show this to string name and the integer number as a result so what i am going to do i am going to create a method public void re method in this method open braces and close braces system dot debug of in between quotations re name and number re name and number to execute that variables in your result we need to give plus sign and name plus sign a number that's all the class is created now to execute this class to execute this class how we can do this now we execute this class we need to create an object for this class how we can create this object we can create this object with the class name see here the class name is student okay the class name is student student 
and for the class reference name I'm giving a std std equal to new student it should be end with two braces semicolon okay it, if I create like this it will create a heap memory what we called as heap memory heap memory in the SFTC it will, it will create a heap memory in SFTC and after that student you, you can call any method like std dot read same column that's all okay so in sftc where we should write this class you you should be clear with where we can execute this class in sftc here we go so log into sftc and afterwards go to the developer developer console developer console next and after that go to new class new class in a file file new class and then to execute this after writing the class to execute this you need to go to the debug unanimous window unanimous window unanimous unanimous window or else you can shortcut you have control plus e control plus e after that execute this program and see you will see in another session how to execute this program I hope you people got this it is it is very easy to e execute the program and be a programmer it's very easy okay I hope you got it